Well, end of another long day. It's Whiskey Wednesday, where we uh, explore whiskey, me and you. Every week we're gonna, we're gonna go over a different kind of whiskey, see how it tastes, and we can learn something together, me and you. Well, uh, I'm a whiskey noob, as they would say, but um, like I say, we're gonna try and uh, figure this out. So this week, our bottle of the week is going to be this little puppy right here. It is Hudson Baby Bourbon Whiskey. And the bottle is pretty, um, it's pretty unique. And it is actually pen marked, which is, um, it's pretty cool. I don't know how rare it is, but, uh, I got it at a local place and, um, they're, they're known for at least having quite a selection. So yeah, I got that and yeah, let's see. Um, let's see how it tastes. First, uh, let's, let's look at some, uh, beautiful bourbon footage as they would say. All right, now that we have seen the footage, let's open the actual bottle. Sitting here on this nice little deer skin thing here. Uh, probably gonna have to figure out how to, how to open this, huh? Well, before I do that, I just wanted to start something here that I think we, uh, we should make honorary. When we sit down to do this, let's, uh, let's take a button and, um, Let's just bring the sleeves up a little bit. Just kind of, kind of relax, because it's Whiskey Wednesday. So uh, we're halfway through the week. Uh, these are actually going to be filmed on Tuesday, so, uh, but late on Tuesday. So it will kind of be like Wednesday. Um, but we're going to release them on Wednesday. So this will be the first one, Whiskey Wednesday. It's Hudson Baby Bourbon Whiskey. Now that I'm properly, you know relaxed we'll, we'll say let's pop this thing open let it um kind of air out a second and um see how it tastes all right well i have um Opened the bottle and poured myself some into this uh, Norlin whiskey glass. So, uh, yeah, I have like kind of 10 things I want to talk about as I sit here and sip this and uh, get, you know. Oh, wow. It's really soft. It is really soft. It does not smell harsh. Got like 10 subjects. I just want that to sit a minute to let, you know, I guess that's what you're supposed to do with this glass. It's gonna put it in there and let it sit a minute. Uh, there's no water in there, so I didn't add anything crazy like that. Um, it's just this Hudson you know, baby, baby bourbon whiskey. So, um, you know, just kind of set it like that. And yeah, it was actually really really docile I don't know really how to put it definitely you can smell the wood in there I think it was American I forget exactly what it was American oak American oak and it was charred yeah new no. Um, this particular bottle is what, 2018 batch 13 bottle 3131 so maybe this is a extra extra good one I don't know but um, like I said it smelled really like it just smelled really good kind of strange um, 
I've never had a whiskey this good, I guess. Uh, this was about a little over $50, so, um, and that's here in Michigan, so, uh, Grand Rapids, so, yeah, it's really, it just smells really good. I'm excited to take a sip. Um, a few interesting things about this, it was actually started by a, um, a, I believe a mountain climber and a senior technical engineer who would uh, help to set up like studios and, and audio something. I, I forget exactly what it was. Um, makes me sound like a dumb fuck. I forget exactly what it was. I mean, watch my YouTube video though, please. Please though. All right, so before I take this first sip, I really want to uh, want to go through kind of just a, a few interesting. Uh... So before we take the first sip, I was going to kind of mention a couple things about the the distillery uh, Tuffel Town Spirits. Uh, this looks like what it what it would be pronounced as. I haven't heard it pronounced, so I don't really know that. It's actually located in Hudson Valley in New York uh, quite a bit of history there I guess there's a prohibition um, story in, in, in there uh, they use first uh, first use charred oak uh, American oak barrels so that's I, I don't know if that's good but uh, we'll find out this is the first one so we'll have as we go we'll have a little bit more to, to test on and uh, eventually maybe we'll have some really cool graphics to uh, to, to compare so that would be a pretty cool uh, one cut quite a bit of awards it looks like uh, in 2014 um, one got in a top pretty big top 50 the got the uh, bronze at um, 2018 one actually won awards in 16 17 and 18 so different ones for, for multiple things so it's not a uh, you know it's definitely not a, a slouch when it comes to, to getting awards. Um, yeah, the guys who, who started it was definitely interesting. So. Um, yeah. I bought it because I like bourbon. And, uh, the guy recommended it, and I thought the bottle was cool. Uh, it's a good place to start. So It's actually a small team, uh, 50 people, and uh, they, I thought they had a pretty cool website. So uh, There's just a couple, couple quick facts about the... Uh, actual distillery so yeah let's get this uh let's get the first sip in here wow wow There was virtually no harshness, uh, no, hmm. there was like no alcohol. I don't, I don't know how to explain that. It's 46%, um, but it had no, had none of that kind of cheapness, maybe. Hard to, hard to explain, but it's very hard to taste too. It's kind of different. And it had like a taste it's really good really really good it's different I am I am quite surprised so I mean this is the first one I'm gonna let this sit just a couple a couple maybe a couple minutes uh, longer so let's do a rapid fire of different subjects uh, first let's talk about the early spring that's coming. 
it seems like there's going to be early spring, at least here in Michigan. I don't know how it's doing in the rest of the U.S. Uh, that's where I am. So, uh, I don't know. It seems this whole winter has been strange. I think with, I, I, I don't know, it may be the decade or, or something, but I don't know. It seems to be switching over. Now, let me talk for a second about this cup that I got right here. This supposedly is a uh, cup that was designed for a Kickstarter. Uh, let's get a, let's get a sip in. Mm. This was a cup that was designed for a Kickstarter, and I guess it's crystal. I'm not sure exactly, um, but it's shaped and it's got these little bars in it. You really can't see it, but yeah, uh, Norlin whiskey glass. I guess I'll put it in the um, in the description and. Yeah, it's worth getting. I don't know. It made some stuff that was actually quite quite a bit harsher than this, and this isn't really harsh at all. That's what I'm saying. Um, like Woodford Reserve actually made that a little bit less harsh. Um, just a standard Woodford Reserve made it less harsh and a little bit easier to drink, but it's worth it. Just just get it. I'm telling you. Just get yourself at least a special glass. I think special drinkware of any sorts. Kind of makes the experience a little bit, uh, a little bit more interesting. So, uh, anybody else have a busy January? Uh, it was quite busy for um, uh, for us. I work at a startup, and it was quite busy for us. Quite a, a lot of people coming back from different holidays, and basically from August to, I don't know until December. It seems like a lot of people are going on holidays throughout and I don't know seems seemed kind of crazy but I don't know I guess that's kind of again start of the new year a new decade everybody's kind of you know, wants to get their 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 stuff going so. and I know what you're asking the lit light Victor what's up with the lit light well it's lit I lit the light and set it back because the light's lit. I, I don't know how else to do. I'm taking a drink. It's really. I mean, it's it's straight up whiskey, but it's really good straight up whiskey. I will give it to him. I'm impressed and like that. But the lit light, seriously. I don't know where I got it. I think maybe maybe Target. I think it may be Target. It wasn't Walmart or anything like that. I think it was Target. Maybe TJ Maxx or something like that or Home Goods. It just has no harshness to the smell whatsoever. Even the drink isn't harsh. It's whiskey, but it's not harsh. So interesting. So interesting. All right. Now, after that last sip, I actually added a little bit of water, so a few drops of this very pure water right here. So this does not have anything in it. It's, I test it and it has zero parts per million. So it's completely pure water. So it should um, should mix nicely with the whiskey. So we'll see how that, that uh, actually tastes here in a minute. So I wanted to speak a little bit about uh, what the most resistance mindset actually is and it is doing the hard things and taking the time to learn new things and experience uh, new experiences uh, and turning that into value for yourself and for others but taking the, the hard road I think there's a lot of people we know who would uh, say just that that uh, the hard way is probably the best way to take uh, because it is the most rewarding so that is a little bit of what most resistance is yeah it's not not too complicated but it's more of a, a mindset and a spirit of uh, really figuring it out and even if it's not not easy I've learned everything that way which was basically uh, just diving in and uh, taking the path of most resistance basically and I probably could have used uh, a little bit more help and a little bit more mentorship but it seemed to all work out 
still letting that sit. All right, so with that, uh, I'm gonna end this Whiskey Wednesday with uh, Hudson Baby Bourbon Whiskey. It was really good. Uh, it's actually the smoothest whiskey I think I've ever had in my life. Uh, I'm not sure if it's the price point or if it's me or if it's the whiskey. I, I'm not 100% sure, but or the cup, but the cup didn't do that. To, to, the cup didn't do that to other, like less, you know, less expensive, we'll say, whiskeys, but I don't know, this stuff's good. Um, we'll try it with the water, and with that, um, yeah, it's the end of my night, and it's called a nightcap, I guess. For that reason, I got my cap on, and I'm drinking of the night, you know, something like that. Well, got things to do like uh, take a shower and go to bed. So, oh wait, never mind. I'm gonna take a shower and work on a podcast. I will let you know when the uh, the podcast is ready. It's going to be quite interesting and hopefully about a subject that uh, the '90s kids will like. Um, being an eyes good myself, this subject is near and dear to my heart so i'll let you know more as that develops uh this is whiskey wednesday um here on most resistance and yeah looks like we found a winner um let's see what next week brings see you then